Darth Vader uh, giving a selfie. <laughs> that sounds about right. Even though episode, <laughs> even though episode, what, what were we up six seven is uh, two years away, they went ahead and got started with it. Uh, so <laughs> I don't. I always. I'm always curious about like brands getting into Instagram like this. And we'll see if we can pull up the page here and see if they're doing anything else with it. Um, what, like I know, I know, um, Mike, I know you and I, we've seen a really interesting one where a pro wrestler actually does a, uh, a false count anywhere championship via Instagram <laughs> video. Uh, that's been really interesting. Um, yes. But have you, do you really follow like any brands that, that, keep things interesting i have a feeling i hope i hope the star wars does stuff interesting because all we got we got our selfie but then we just kind of got some generic star wars picks except for all the uh middle bikini babes there you go there you go <laughs> lovely lay is from uh, uh san diego comic-con 2010 so they're just like digging through the uh the picture pile at this point aren't they i hope they start releasing like viral things for the next star wars movie mm -hmm. and nope. like you have to actually pay attention but they'll suddenly release like, hey, here's a picture of Han and Leia's kid or something like that. Well, no, it's J.J. Abrams. I wouldn't be surprised because he's, he's – Yeah, but his, all of his Instagram pictures, unless Instagram comes up with a lens flare filter, <laughs> you're probably not going to see many from him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like this in that it bridges the gap, I think. It's interesting is that if you're a person who was around for the first round of Star Wars movies – you're probably just adopting Instagram where your kids have been on Instagram. And so now you're bridging that gap into the legacy of the, of the franchise. Uh, it's now common ground for a kid and a, and a parent maybe to talk about star Wars at this point. I, I think it's kind of interesting. Awesome. Yeah. It's in, I, I know I, would you, you guys, my question before, do you guys follow anything uh, that's an interesting brand? Like, I know I, I, I follow one that's like 8 bit apparel, and they keep like, you know, showing pictures of like old, you know, Nintendo games, and, and like, apparently they're from like up towards Cleveland because they always have 8 bit versions of people from the Browns. So <laughs> that part, not a big font fan of, but I always try to send them off to Chachi and Uncle Crappy. Um, but, uh, I, I, but other than that, like, I, I mean, I follow like, you know, WWE and sometimes there's interesting backstage photos. Is there anything in interesting you guys are, are, are finding out there? Um, my sister follows the NFL mm -hmm. on Instagram and she's, she's not a football fan by any stretch of the imagination, but she says they just tweet out a lot of really cool, like, from the sidelines pictures, like it's kind of stuff you'd see on inside the NFL, but in still frame form. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, it's not bad. It's a, it's a different look at the game. Like, like you don't get just the typical TV angles. It's kind of like what WWE does a little bit. It is. It is a lot like that. Uh, I don't know about the go Hawks, go saints that they have going on here, but, uh, I've also <laughs> noticed, um, 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 what, WWE's been t tweeting the pictures from their app because they always have these really great graphics, you know, uh, 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 you know, that go along with matches that are happening with stats or something like that. And they're, they're I think they're realizing, hey, not everybody's over on this app. Let's 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 share them out. Um, so awesome. I, I, I just I just started following just two days ago, not even thinking about it for this for this podcast, but Pepsi on Instagram. I was just curious as to what bigger brands are doing at this point. Mm -hmm. And I like this, um, similar to what Disney did on vine, as far as are you, fa um, you show your Disney side, uh, Pepsi's doing a, are you fan enough? And, um, uh, it's kind of interesting. They put up very high quality pictures representing the brand, but asking people to do the same and they're giving away awards for it. Um, so I, I thought it was kind of interesting how people are, using the brand you know it used to be that companies like pepsi are very protective of their brand however they're letting everybody express themselves in any way tastefully possible with instagram at this point so that is kind of cool yeah i always thought that was an interesting fight like how do you make people really dig something it's like well it's soda do you really like are you but but i gotta think like 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 my sister like loves coca-cola everything you know, especially around Christmas, because they always got the polar bears and Santa Claus and the little glass bottles and everything. Um, 